Hello everybody, it's I, Riff Raff Hornhelm, and I'm back again with another presentation from the Dwarven Vault, and today we have a fail tale. As previously stated, if you've watched all the videos, uh, we're doing a little bit of a pivot with the fail tale, so today, uh, though this is definitely a failure, uh, it's in a slightly different context. What we're talking about today is, is what is the most frequent means of death that characters experience in a dungeon? Now, this is 1E, so don't confuse this with 5E. But what's the most common way that you see characters dying in a dungeon? Hack to pizzas. Consumed by a fireball. Disintegrated into sparkly dust. There's so many different ways that your character could perish. Let's face it. Now, what I'm going to use as reference here today is one of the many that I know. It actually does happen by uh, volume of occurrences. To be the number one killer in my uh, current series of dungeons, which are uh, going back to first principles, 1E, start from scratch, uh, which has been challenging for players who have uh, spent considerably more time over their gaming careers playing in other systems and 5E and so forth. Uh, having said that, there's one clear culprit that's emerging when it comes to killing characters. It's a little bit misleading and we'll go into that, but it is pretty simple. Gravity. No two ways about it. Gravity. It's killed more characters in last, I don't know, six months or so of gaming than any other single source. And there's been deaths by being hacked apart. And uh, let's see, somebody got eaten by a dragon. There's been all kinds of fun things happening. But like any dungeon, when you have a variety of adventures going on, and it goes on for an extended period of time, and you're willing to work new characters into the dungeon, uh, rather than constantly uh, going ibbity bibbity bop and, and bringing back to life old characters, um, it gives you some opportunity to see the, uh, shall we say, statistics uh, mount up. So, well, gravity, what are we talking about here? It's primarily falls during climbing. Now, this is where I tend to think of it as being a little bit misleading. Okay, yes, gravity, or you could be even sillier and say, well, it's not the that kills you it's the sudden stop uh, and while that is technically correct um, it is gravity that is doing in all these characters before their time combined with uh, thoughtlessness not using the old noodle now we all know as as both DMs and players that the, the fastest way to die in this game is to uh, uh, not think something through and miss either the obvious or, or just be careless and forgetful. And there's no question that if you are careless and forgetful, you can have bad things happen. So really, what does this entail? When, when I look at what the players in uh, uh, my current dungeon have been doing, a, a lot of it is just not stopping to do their due diligence, if you will. It, if you're going to follow a rope that's been strung up by a thief, make sure that you're attaching yourself to the rope or have a very, very secure method of moving along it so that if you miss a grip or slip or you're attacked in the middle of doing it, that you don't necessarily fall. 
And of course, when that fall occurs, depending on the height that it's at, you know, you're, you're supposed to do a hit die damage for every 10 feet, essentially. Uh, so, you know, a 100 foot fall is like a 10 story building. Uh, and, and yeah, it would be very unusual if you survive something like this just as a regular character. 1E compared to 5E on this was very different. Uh, 1E was a lot more grounded in, I, I guess, a, a more real background. Uh, whereas 5E is, I think, more magical, sparkly bits than uh, 1E was. And in 1E, I, and I think you should do this in any version of D&D that you're playing, is, is you need to pay attention to physics. You need to pay attention to uh, precautions and safety efforts and and a lot of times characters will in fact I'd say most of the time they do but boy you miss the one time and you don't need that bad of a role if you're doing a first principles dungeon because your characters are not that wise intelligent strong dexterous etc um, not based on the way the die rolls were for making characters back at that stage. So, gravity has, without a question, been the number one killer in this dungeon. It's something where when you're climbing on the inside uh, of a, a large cliff structure or cavern or fortress or whatever it may be, uh, or lowering yourself down, uh, there's going to be some roles involved not necessarily the agility of a monkey or something, but that you are able to get up and down the rope without difficulty as a non-thief. Now, a thief, of course, is going to uh, roll on a different scale. They're going to use percentiles, and they have a different set of uh, rules to follow on that. Uh, and they're generally more capable of doing it, which is why they tend to be the ones who are the uh, trailblazers, if you will, where climbing and ropes and all this kind of stuff is required. Uh, it is important as the player that you do things like attach yourself to the rope. Don't just hang on it. If you lose your grip and you have a bad roll, um, you're, you're going to fall. And, and if it's 100 feet, it's yeah, you're going to hit like a bag of wet cement. You don't want to do that. So remember, really, what I'm trying to uh, really express here today is... It's not gravity, it's think it through. As a player, really think through what you're doing. Use the real world and real world solutions wherever you can and use them to support what you're doing overall. It's important to uh, think about these things and DMs, if you're letting them if they say, hey, I throw my grappling hook up at the top, okay, one roll for the grappling hook, yeah, it's secure. Okay, I climb up. If you allow them to do that without making it more realistic, you're doing your players a disservice and you're doing yourself a disservice. It's important to try and make this as real as possible without slowing down the game. Um, real consequences for things like... Uh, Climbing ropes or lowering yourself down on ropes is important to use within the game. Uh, so, bottom line is, is that, folks, gravity kills. Thoughtlessness kills more. Think through what you're doing as a player and as a DM. Remember to hold your players to task. Make it real. The most basic rule that any DM can ever use is does it make sense within the context of what you're doing and what you believe the limitations are and as you see it in the rules if it makes sense it's okay if it doesn't make sense stop look again think it through decide if you're going to allow it or maybe some modified outcome but remember common sense makes a difference and remember everybody it's not about the fact that gravity kills. It's more the fact that think before you act. Think it through. Make sure it makes sense. If you can sell it to yourself because it makes sense, think about 
think how much easier it will be to sell it to the DM. We hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. If you did, please leave us a like, give us a comment, consider subscribing, share with your friends. But most of all, come back and see us again real soon. And remember, dwarves rock!